Hi, I'm James, and I'm driving nearby the EU port. And today is very unusual because I saw a lot of containers nearby the EU port. Under normal circumstances, those containers should be on the freeway to the port of Ningbo or port of Shanghai. But today is very unusual because we are approaching to the Chinese New Year, and it will become pretty busy. A lot of trading companies or export companies want to export their products. To overseas to other countries before Chinese New Year, so it's kind of like a last-minute task. I'm circling around the EU port. I will show you how many containers you will see. Now, as so you can see, we are on the way. I'm driving to the exit of uh, freeway exit to Ningbo. I will show you first on this road how many containers you can see. Almost 80 percent containers in EU will be sent to port of Ningbo because the Ningbo port is the nearest seaport to EU only 180 kilometers around so this is the road to the exit of freeway to Ningbo now I turn back to EU port to show you how many containers are still there to wait for China customs declaration so let me speed up all right I will turn left to show you now the first thing you need to know is the containers in you we need to load products in the container first the containers will have to go to the port of EU to do what China customs declaration so when those containers that already done China customs declaration they just the board vessel directly when they arrive in Ningbo port we have warehouse in EU port we also collect the goods in our warehouse in EU port on regular basis uh, sometimes when we finish it's already 6 7 p.m. now it's it's around 7 p.m. and this situation really happened to us so it's kind of surprise when I see containers I feel very excited I don't know why there are three lines on this road two lines are all occupied by the containers you see this little truck this guy still try to deliver products to the port of you I can't turn right because those containers are, are blocking me that's all right. I just uh, drive straight. I wish all those containers are mine. At least half. Recently, the EU area, the EU city is rated as middle risk area. Uh, we have a high risk, middle risk, low risk like that. If you want to see more, you can click top right. We have a special post to explain this. You see the other road across uh, my road? There are many containers still waiting. So I will turn back to show you. You see those containers waiting to turn left because that's the center of Port of EU. China Customs are waiting for those containers to pass Green Line to make sure those containers are all okay so they are free to be sent to Port of Ningbo to board a vessel. After all, all the vessels are waiting at the Ningbo port to load these containers so in the end those containers will board on the vessel at the Ningbo port we can see the side road there are also many containers waiting for there another situation is uh, some containers might be empty they arrive EU city one day earlier so they can load the containers in the early morning tomorrow they can finish very soon and go back to the container driver they wanted to finish everything in the same day because if those containers sleep one night in EU there is extra fee they don't want to pay for them you see those containers all staying here because there is exit to the entrance of China Customs Declaration. They're waiting here to finish the China Customs Declaration. They're waiting here to finish. I think they can finish tonight. Those containers will go to Port of Ningbo or Port of Shanghai. I will follow them. I think I can go there. So I'm boxed with uh, those containers, I think. Let's check it out. I think. <laughs> We are. Now it's uh, 7 p.m. See how busy those containers are in Port of EU. They're waiting for customs declaration. There is also antivirus personnel here to check those containers are okay or not. So all those containers are coming. I will take you a closer look at those containers. So excited to see those containers. There are different containers. Vessel companies, China Shipping, APL, Mask. Those containers are already done. The China Customs waiting here. Get out of EU port to go to Freeway. Their destination is Port of Ningbo. Those are the empty containers in the EU port. Those containers will be sent somewhere, some trading company's warehouse, or inside the Port of EU to load the containers. So I can't go inside the EU port because I'm not the EU port staffs. I can't. 
there is a restriction areas for certain personnel. So you can see those containers behind me, over 100 containers, definitely over 100. The containers behind me, they are ready to drive inside EU port to declare China customs. So this is uh, one corner of EU port. After we load our own containers, the containers also will need to go here. We prefer the containers declare customs in EU. It is convenient to everyone. The containers just board the vessel after arrive the port of Nimbo. So let's go a little closer for this uh, entrance. I can't go inside like I said. I can give you a glimpse at least. Now next one is this container. So this is the antivirus personnel. They need to do their jobs here. So those are the containers. Are uh, all finished now this exit is a uh, weight container like you don't know the total gross weight for this container and then you need to go inside here you see a lot containers here a lot they need to go inside and to check out the total gross weight because there is a limit for every different container like 20 gp is around 17 tons 40 gp has no more than 30 tons like that all right now you see how busy about eu city eu international trade city those are the normal situation in eu city but especially today is uh, the volume is double in the normal day quantity of container will be a little down but today is double there's so many containers need to process especially recently before the chinese new year holiday all right this is the latest update latest situation about eu city eu port if you like our content please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel we will bring you more details and news about eu about china in the future thank you for watching i will see you in next video